at the Palace. What is it? Palace Hypermarket. Palace Hypermarket. It's Spintex. Mm -hmm. Um, this is where you get. Well, we, I don't know if we've already showed you or not, but throughout the video we'll be showing you basically what it is. But it's like a big supermarket, yeah. and it has a lot of stuff that we are used to from back home. Right. Um, so right now, dome saw is going on. We are experiencing dome saw, and it's how long has it been already out? Uh, it's been Over a it's been hours. a complete twenty four hours that the power has been off. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, we just wanted, we was like, okay, not much you can do about it, so we decided to come out and just get some provisions, yeah. uh, stuff that we kind of needed uh, for the place anyway. Like water, drinks, yeah. little snacks, they don't have to be refrigerated. Right, right, right. So we are learning as well, you know, don't get too many items as far as like for refrigeration. Yeah. Don't do, like, you know how we do in the States, we'll get like a week's worth of meat or you know just to put up and you can get to it when you want don't do that here yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the electricity just isn't not unless you have like a solar, generator a uh, generator or solar as your backup or alternative right. you know then you can do it yeah but if you don't and you know just get like a couple days worth of food at a time so yeah it's been a full 24 hours like over 24 hours now at this point of don't start and hopefully when we get back home it's on but probably won't be so we're not banking on it but it's okay we're getting used to it but that's why we can't uh at, right now so we can't do any work that we usually do online with our video processing uh updating our website and updating the etsy shop and uh kind of like communicating with other people through emails and stuff like that so we're a little we're just down right now but yeah it's nothing so yeah. Hopefully some of you other YouTubers that are here in Ghana, reach out, speak to us, say something, you know, let's link up. It's, it's like so many diasporans that are here that are about projects and stuff like that, that can help move Ghana forward. And that's what we're about. So the more people that we can get to know and meet on that. And network. On, yeah, you know, you can learn more about us too and find out, you know, what actually drove us here um but so far so good everybody that we have been meeting has been really awesome um we, we met zoe yeah zoe she tv was awesome 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 i cannot wait to visit his uh pallet kitchen again let's about the dumb saw right mm -hmm. so uh, a lot of Ghanaians have already you know been experiencing it so for them you know it's it's not nothing new you know so for you, those of you who may be planning on coming to Ghana and you already kind of know about the dump saw issue, uh, it's not, when you get here, that's when you're really going to finally get a good understanding of uh, what it takes, you know, to, especially coming from like the Western world, you know, you, know, you can just leave the lights on and all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. But here, uh, the people, the people are so resilient, yeah. so resilient. And I pull, I pull a lot of my strength from that. They do inspire me, you know, not to be so weak, you know, and stuff like that because they've been doing it. They've been doing it. You just knew here. <laughs> yeah, they used to it. Yeah. That's why I be like, sometimes I be like, man, they don't even get mad enough. But you know what? I mean, they, you know, what mad gonna do, you know, so. Right. Right. It's, it's mostly just about solutions moving forward. And we already know that. Most of us can't just really just throw gobs of money at it because none of you know a lot of us we not rich or wealthy like that. Right. But uh, it starts small, man. Like me and my wife, uh, our projects are like on a micro level. It's so like, it's more feasible. Right, right, right. It's got to be very, very feasible. And in the near future, it's just my opinion off of the facts that I've already been researching and stuff like that. But it's just my opinion. As Ghana's economy continues to grow. It's growing with a lot of the youth. So yeah, not, and <clears throat> it's my belief, and I'm pretty sure my wife uh, shares in this, is that sometimes smaller is better. And Ghana has a lot of big buildings, and some of the rent here is just, it's just outpriced. Like, even the average Ghanaian could not afford it. So our project, or our main project, like the end goal project, has to do with, uh, housing development uh, but small homes like yeah. tiny homes uh, studio type of living you know? Econom economical economical so the average guy can afford it you know? right 
I think with dedication and staying true to the mission and things like that, uh, we'd be able to get some small micro projects started and hopefully they'll catch wind and other people can copy off of something that we may start. So, yeah. And I'm going to share that information with you all, uh, the whole building idea, uh, where I got the inspiration, uh, floor plans and all that. It'll be accessible to you all in case in the near future you want to try it yourself. All right, guys. So, yeah, definitely stay tuned. So we're going to be showing you guys more of the hypermarket. All right.